well, Cynthia here from NB Pretty Papers, up today as a guest designer for Kidaholic Kids. So I'm just going through some of the papers here that I received in the January kit. And I've decided that I'm actually going to use this wood grain here as the background paper. Now I'm just going to go back through the other papers to see what one I'd like to mount my photo on. Obviously think that green one with the green writing on it is a contender as I left it there but I also just go through all the other papers to see if there's anything else that might work but I go back to this green paper that's such a gorgeous color I, the papers in this month kit work so well together there's this soft green mint color and the beautiful pink colors it was just a beautiful um papers this month I loved them all it was hard to decide which one to use there was a back side of one of the papers that which I think is this green paper that I can't say I was a big fan on of it was black and white flowers with orange centers I think it was but thankfully I really loved the other side of it so that that helped and I've pretty much used all of that paper as um, backing paper because the, the writing on the background is just a nice different colour green but it's just enough to give it a bit of a difference in the varieties in the background. Anyway, going through the wood veneer pieces that come and as you can see they're all numbers and I was originally going to put 10 things I like about you but as you'll see as I go ahead I swap that out and come up with a different plan. I generally don't plan ahead I just go have a photo and I just start from there and nothing else is ever thought or planned out at all. Having a look at these tickets that come with this month's kit I think they were this month kit. I did get some stuff from last month as well, embellishment kits. No, but I'm pretty sure this was for this month. Anyway, going through these tickets to have a look to see what I might be able to use, and I pull out this one here. Um, all things I like about you, things I love about you, something like that, it says. And uh, I'm decided I'll use that little one there. Now I'm going through these other wood veneer pieces. All um, these ones are from Corbett Creations and having a look to see what I can use. And once I've go, gone through them, I realise there's actually five things there that really could be what I love about my husband. So I just swap the ten out and come up, You just use these five. And I really like the way that comes together. I think that works well. I think I've probably said in previous videos, very rarely do I go in and colour my wood veneer pieces. I generally leave them in their natural state and I'm quite happy with that. Even though the both of these don't, you know, are not the same colour or the same tone or even the same material really. I'm quite happy with it. I go with the flow. Don't stress too much about things like that. So I decided that I'm going to flip the corner of this background paper over and just, oh, there's that background paper that I said that I wasn't particular fond of, that one there. Um, but thankfully, I absolutely love the wood grain that's on the other side, so that worked well. So I'm going to turn that corner down and use a couple of staples to hold it in place and mount it the little back bit with the same paper that I've backed my photo with. Decided that I would put that big banner piece up on that black and white polka dot paper. Really makes it pop off the page now and I'm glad I was a, um, decided to do that. Going through seeing how I want to lay out the wood veneer pieces I don't want them going bigger to, from biggest to smallest I want to mix them up in size a little bit 
and now I'm going to pop up the banner with some fun foam and um, uh, but not the actual black piece of paper the black and white polka dot I'm going to leave that flat so there's going to be the difference between those two bits of papers just using the double sided tape there to pop that up and want to make sure I've got that on a little bit of an angle I find that's more pleasing to the eye if you just give it a little bit of a twist especially because that background paper is has the sort of the straight lines to it I think if you put something with a little bit of an angle it, um, it just makes it pop off the page and there's a little bit more pleasing to the eye doesn't look quite so for me boring using this little round circle heart down here and which has also got some I think it's got black and white polka dots on the background so just carrying that theme through so I've got that black and white polka dot theme right in that round circle element there also the background paper and actually when I flipped over the top corner there it sort of has a little bit of a, a black and white polka dot look to it as well so carrying that element through and I actually bring some more bits and pieces in I believe as I go along that has the same black and white dot in it as well here we go going through this sticker book there's hundreds and hundreds of stickers in here my god don't know if I'm ever going to get through them it's a it's beautiful it's just so much you just everything you would need is in here so um, going through it and I think I flipped through it a dozen times deciding which one I should put where but go back to these little round dots here which have numbers on them and I'm just going to use those as one two three four and five I like the spacing that I have now but I pull off this piece of washi tape here that has the sort of a dotty pattern on it and by the time I go through and lay them all down I'm going to use it as a background bit of a shelf for the um, wood veneer I end up seem to moving everything just a little bit closer so it's all squished up a little bit more than I would have liked but once it was down it's down I'm not bringing it up and changing it so it stays as it is just measuring it up so it comes in there go back and double check because it looks a little bit crooked I think but it's definitely telling me it's straight so put that one down and then I cut away and you come in and see them all done and as you can see as I said they're a little bit closer than what they initially were which is fine I end up just using a making another cluster down the bottom which I may not have done if I had left them spread out a little bit more gluing those down with some craft glue and then I go back through the ephemera and bits and pieces that come with the kit and see what else I can do I have to go back through the book no I knew somewhere yes I was looking for these little black alphas that come in the kit I knew that I saw them somewhere so as I said earlier um, I'm using some stuff here from the January kit but I believe some bits and pieces are um, also from the embellishment pack from the December kit as well and so down the bottom right hand corner I, the, the tag that I put down the ticket that I put down said something like things I love about you or what I like about you or something like that and then I said five and now up the top I say you are beautiful kind sweet silly funny is that what they say something like that can't quite read them I should have the layout in front of me but I don't 
Now going through the two ephemera packs that come in this month's kit. One is the um, exclusive die cuts and the other is um, the actual die cuts from, uh, who, who are they? Mm -hmm. I'll pull out the packet in a minute and you'll see who they're from. I'm not going to guess. You know, I'm just going through to see what pieces that I would like to use. Now I've decided they're going to put a little cluster down there. So I'm just going through seeing what will work. Thought I might use that piece, but that doesn't go. I am an R when I get to the silver or the gold words, whether I'll put one of those on. But in the end, I don't. I don't think I put any gold on this page think that I might put something down the bottom there but I'll try a couple of different things but as I said I don't use any of them in the end I don't think the gold goes well with the with this layout so I put back everything that I think I'm not going to use tidy things up because the desk is getting a bit cluttered I need to put things away and have a look to see what I can use really like the way that tag sits there and I just felt like it needed to be moved to the right a little bit so it was half on the the yellowy tan side and but one half but also just popped over onto the yellow part of the background as well just gave it some visual interest there Come up with a couple of more little clusters i want to put something up in the top corner and i know i want to put a circle up there so i've tried a couple of different things a couple of different size circles to i find the right size that i think works for me um, i think it just is it that one that's the one i put there and now i'm going to come back through and pull off some more of these little word stickers as well there's lots of different words there so they all work nicely so that one's a little bit big and go for one that's just not quite as big i think it just overpowered the top put these down and that's pretty much coming to the end of the layout put a couple more of the word stickers down and i am done so I hope you've enjoyed the process so far. Give me a thumbs up if you have. Make sure you jump on and check out Kitaholic kits and all the different kits they put out each month. So there's the main kits, embellishment kits, mixed media kits. Um, I've probably missed a kit. And I can't think what it is. Uh, pocket page kits. Leave any comments. Leave me a comment. I'll make sure I answer your comments if I can. And until next time i will catch you on the next video have a lovely day lovely week or a lovely month talk to you later bye